Can you guess it? And with that, welcome back to RT's World. And today I present you a very new and fancy concept in terms of casino games. It is, I think, the first of its kind. I don't know if that ever happens. I didn't find anything on YouTube, but uh, let's see how you like it. And I think it's really, really interesting. So first of all, we have here a Can You Guess It game. There are like... 300 something blocks in Minecraft 1.19 and that's just the version I'm playing in. Of course, it works in any other version of Minecraft. Doesn't matter if single player, multiplayer. It just depends on your version, how many blocks you have available. So I was wondering, hey, I could make a machine that you as a customer can put in any item, any block of those 300 blocks or if you also include items like 1000 plus items or blocks and you could have your chance of winning a jackpot with that single item or block. And the casino just compares that. And I don't want to make it like just the odds, just, just random, like a one in 1000 odds or something like that. I want, if you put your sea lantern into a machine, that it checks if you are lucky enough to get a sea lantern from the machine, matching your sea lantern you inputted, and therefore winning the jackpot. And yeah, that's the design I came up with. I spent a lot of time figuring that out. I think I did like two or three reworks, like complete redesigns. And then I just wondered like, hey, I could do it even more compact and like, for example, combine item elevators into one and so on. But I'm really proud of what came out of this uh, venture. <laughs> and I think the result is quite interesting. So we insert any item. Like uh, as a payment, of course, it doesn't matter. You can select it. It's just diamonds in this case. And then we can insert any item. And in my case, it is limited to only blocks since I didn't want to make a huge machine. But you could, in theory, make it with any other block. So let's just choose a block. Let's go with, let's see what's nice. Hey, let's go with packed ice. We just place in our packed ice in there. Then we wait some time. Now the two droppers dispense the item. There's our item, there's the comparative item. And as we saw, I think it was the brown glazed terracotta. And then we get our item back, which is the packed ice in our case. So in the first part of this video, so I want to remind you that we will make an explanatory version of this machine. So I will explain everything, how each circuit works. They're neatly colored. And I've also now dark mode on, <laughs> as I explained in the last video. So, and also some convenience features like where our hoppers pointing, where our droppers pointing and so on just added them. And in the second part, we will build it block by block together. So you can build in your single player or multiplayer world as well. So and I want to start with all the items I included in this machine. So we have here, I think six and a half double chests worth of different blocks. And I was just limiting myself to blocks you can obtain in survival. There's no bedrock, there's no uh, portal frames from the new, uh, what are they, reinfor reinforced deep slate or so on. There's just blocks you can obtain in survival. And you should do that as a casino owner as well. Maybe you can display the, the items with item frames or whatsoever that people also know what they can select from. But if you want to include items, this uh, line of chests will grow significantly since there are a lot of items in the game. Um, I just included full blocks. And yeah, in my case, there are 330 blocks that are obtainable in Minecraft survival in 1.19. And that leaves us with a 1 in 330 chance or a 0.3% chance of your block you put into the machine getting picked actually by the randomization me mechanism. And yeah, I just didn't want it to go with a classic 1 in 330 uh, chance. So a few dropper hoppers or dropper dropper mechanisms uh, basically uh, put in series. I just wanted to make it like the real thing where it really compares the item behind a glass screen and you see if you win or you didn't. So um, what does the machine do? And how does it look like if we won, if we win, like in the preview, what does happen then? And I will go all over those cases now. So here's our item filter with the basic uh, diamond. You can put it in there. It will transfer this wooden X from left to, uh, from right to left. Therefore powering the comparator, powering this uh, redstone torch and closing the f sticky piston. So you cannot insert any more items or currency items. It will automatically activate this T flip flop here, putting the wooden X there. And therefore, as we can see here, let's check it out. Ah, that was so bad. As we can see, we have here this vice versa piston thing going on. So now the X is over there and this piston is retracted. So we can now insert the block. We cannot insert it if we didn't pay. 
And yeah, next I want to show you um, what happens then if we insert here any other item, it will just activate a comparator, activate this line, and it will activate this um, pulse extender. And the pulse extender will just also block this item hopper here. And what it prevents, or what it's, it's a really foolproof system. I made, I made a lot of effort to make it not trickable or not cheatable. So we can, just, just for an example, we can insert now a bunch of blocks. So we start, ah, that's a little bit too much maybe. We start with one glass, then 16 of those, oh, okay, I was already too late. So again, <laughs> maybe let's try it this, this time differently. We put in these three items very fast. So it is all those three items are now picked up by the block. What is happened? Oh, that's the glass from the previous attempt. But as you heard, there, there were items getting burned. So only the first item you insert counts and it will only be the glass block and nothing else. So that's why it's really foolproof. You can put there a stack or two stacks of items if you're fast enough. You could choose to get here 100 players that like spam the hopper completely, it wouldn't change anything since it is timed that it only will count the first item and none of the um, subsequent items. So all others will get burned down there in the lava. We have here a self-emptying dropper down there, so it will just dispense everything and burn it. And in addition to this um, basically single out one item mechanism, we also activate this clock here. And what this clock here does, it shuffles the brain of our machine, which is here. There are all the items, all 300. So I had to put in here like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there a seventh row? No, we have eight times six. So it's 48 droppers in total. And those 48 droppers are completely filled or some partially filled with our items that we put in there. And what this clock here does is it pushes it up. I can now show it to you. It will just uh, click a lot of redstone and we can see it completely shuffles the item through. Nothing will stay the same since droppers are randomized. And we can see here, we exchange items very fast and they're in kind of a snake configuration and they are in a loop. So they just shuffle them around. And at some point the mechanism will stop and at this point, we have here this inverted signal. We will only leave a two tick signal into this block here, or it leads to this block. And what it does, it filters out one single item from this item hopper here. Um, sorry, from, from this item hopper here. And I just wanted to demonstrate while the machine is running how this hopper looks like. We see it flips all these items in there pretty wildly. And at some point it just takes one out and that's what the randomization system goes with. They're completely random in there. The hopper will get locked a certain amount of time uh, periodically by this redstone. So that's why we have a completely random set of items in this hopper and we just pick one of those items. One single item will get uh, drawn down by the other hopper and therefore put into this uh, item elevator. And this item elevator is activated as soon as one item arrives there by this comparator down there, it will get shoot up and it will arrive in this dropper, which is the comparison dropper for our system here. Our item uh, in the meantime is already pushed through this item elevator here. As it arrives here, as we can see here, all the other items will get burned, but the first one will arrive here. It will shoot up here and transfer into that dropper. So we have left our item and right the item from the randomization system and they will be compared by activating two droppers, as we can see here, they're activated by this, um, what is it called, cyan wool circuit. They will just suck it down and put it into this barrel. And that's the second main mechanism or main complication of this build. So if the system selected the cyan wool and we as a player, for example, selected, I don't know, a glass block or something else, ours will get their second since our uh, pathway of droppers is longer and they get simultaneously transferred down into the hoppers. So it, ours will get stuck here if it's not the same kind of item. But if it stacks into the barrel, if it's get transferred from the right to the barrel, the signal strength is adjusted with the amount of items in here that it will exactly, of course they have to be renamed, it's also very important, uh, it will exactly increase the signal strength by one therefore powering those repeaters, powering the uh, observer. And here we have our, um, our droppers with all the netherite in there. 
And that's how we get um, our prices. Our prices are two netherite blocks in this case. You can of course adjust it as you wish. And therefore this uh, stacked item will get then transferred downwards via a series of circuits here. But I think I will show it to you. That's the best way to do it. And we have also here this chest of items that already won. So you could also see which item won the jackpot. So, and also the item will get transferred with the hoppers into the elevator and back, as we can see here, into our dropper shuffling mechanism down there. So, and now let's try that. We just simulated, we have here now as a player, light gray wool, and as a casino randomization system, we have lime wool. It powers, and we have here the lime wool arriving, and in the other dropper, the, and, and then we can see that we now got the lime wool down there so it's stuck here for the next cycle but it really doesn't matter if the next player comes the lime wool will get recycled and here is already something from the other cycles but of course i have to manually put them in now or one of them at least otherwise it wouldn't get into the system since this dropper tower will only be act once activated per game but let's check it out once more so we place in here our diamond and just to be funny we just place in 16 light gray wool. We can see only the first light gray wool makes it to this dropper. All the other ones will get burned. And then we have here, um, yeah, we, we display the items in the front, of course. And at some point, our barrel here will be, yeah, here's the great, great glazed terrac terracotta. And here we saw the gray wool very shortly. So this is what the system picked. We picked the gray wool, therefore we want nothing. But we got our block back, so that's how the machine works. And now I want to show you what happens if we and the machine agree. So if we have the same. So I will just simulate that by placing in one orange wool into this dropper. And one is orange wool already picked by my system here. No. And one orange wool in the randomization dropper. So we place them in there. We see now every moment, every second, two orange wool there. And then we already have here our two netherite blocks, so that's when we win. And just a small addition, I changed this mechanism here. Uh, that torch shouldn't be there. <laughs> I changed that mechanism here. And what this machine should do now is it filters out all the items that get into the jackpot correctly. So I can demonstrate it to you. For example, from the last time winning, we have here just a green glass. That's what was selected last, last time. And if we win now, just for example, with a netherite block, we, if you win now, the netherite block will get filtered out since it won, while the uh, glass block will get into this dropper, into the item elevator for further use. Yeah, and that's basically it. I know the explanation part took very long, but there's a lot to go over. And yeah, with that said, we will head into the block by block tutorial of this machine. So welcome to the block by block tutorial and this time we will start with a 7 by 12 platform. I have some pre-built stuff here but uh, don't be scared by that. So the 12 blocks are in this direction and the 7 blocks are in that direction. So we have 6 blocks until we hit this netherite and 7 blocks until we hit the quartz. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as we can see here. So then you can build this frame which is 5 blocks tall and of course uh, 12 blocks across. And yeah, just pause the video at any point. We have here just some smooth quartz, some uh, glass, and also some smooth quartz stairs, as well as some trapdoors and hoppers. For the hoppers, they are all um, set in this direction. So for this one, we have it facing down into a chest. For this one, we have it facing it sideways, this one sideways into one that looks to the front. So that's our system. And now we want to also make the system that is like right here. And for that, we need to get ourselves some droppers, uh, some hoppers, sorry. We place them right here, just right against the wall. Then we will grab some carpet, white one, as so. And we will have some frog lights here on top. We have some smooth quartz blocks to encase everything like this. We have some uh, chiseled quartz blocks there. And we have also some droppers that look down like this and they look also on this side down like that so from the front it should look like this now and then we also have to add here some glass 
to prevent the items from getting shot into any other um, location than the hopper itself. Next up we will build right here this um, model and then we have your repeater, here a comparator, two pieces of redstone, redstone torch and in the first hopper here on top we want to place in 18 and 3 secretly named items and uh, 2 diamonds and as soon as we hit put in here a third diamond or currency item it will land in our profit chest right over there. So then we're gonna have two droppers facing into each other within the first one being any item. Then we have here a reset magenta circuit, we have here a comparator facing into a torch, facing into a torch, facing into a block and facing into a sticky piston with a diamond block and some redstone dust like this. So next the second sticky piston will be right here, we will just place in here a quartz block. Then we grab hoppers and place them one here, second one is just a temporary block and then we want to go one, two, three, four, five, one over and here will be our dropper. So one over and then one, two, three, four, five and then one here. So here will be our item elevator and we will just put it as high that we reach this uh, hopper line on top can already place in here some uh, composters and we also grab ourselves some observers like this just face them all in the same direction you have the arrows here of course to know that a little bit better and then leave one block at the, at the bottom and place them like this then we're gonna grab here a comparator into a block repeaters are to one tick um, a redstone dust, piston, repeater set to two ticks and here will be just a note block just like that. And I want to exchange a repeater, sorry repeater and redstone dust like this, makes it a little bit more simple. Then we want to go right here and go down a little bit like this, just three blocks in total and then we have one here we have a dropper two hoppers on top like this and here we're just gonna place ourselves some lava like this and we can also have here a transparent glass block or so so that we can watch if some items get burned here we want to have a self-emptying dropper so just business as usual. If we place in anything in there, it will get shot into lava. So then we cover it with glass so we can see through like this. And we need here some redstone dust to power that. Uh, oh, not, not here. I think it will be down there afterwards. But uh, yeah, just continue on. Next, we're gonna start with uh, placing here next to this chest a comparator, redstone dust, a block. Then we're gonna have here a repeater and uh, redstone dust and from here we just want to start with a comparator right here two into each other facing uh, droppers on top redstone right here uh, wooden X should be in yeah in this dropper here so that this piston will be extended and then we want to have this block here replaced I'm sorry this repeater set to two ticks and then one two three four five Repeaters set to maximum delay. Here um, we have a, a wool block, a redstone block, a redstone dust block, a redstone torch. Then we're gonna have here a comparator, there a comparator. Here we wanna have some redstone. And then we wanna have here two blocks, one redstone, one repeater set to full delay. And just this. So. Then we're gonna have a repeater right here. We wanna have a block right there. And then we wanna have a repeater right here. Block, sticky piston, com uh, observer, and an observer that looks like this. Next up we wanna have here a block. There a temporary block. And then we wanna have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks that look like this. 
Whereas this one we will replace and place in here that one and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all droppers in this case. So then we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like this. The last one will get over like that. Then we have here this kind of snake form. So of course each of those hoppers are uh, droppers should fire into the next one in this kind of S shape as you can see here. Just build it like I do it here. And the last one like this. I will pause here at the second so you can see where each hopper a uh, dropper is facing. The last part will be the modif modification of this most left row here. So we have this one facing downwards. I made a mistake there. Here we're gonna have a hopper instead and here we're gonna have a barrel instead. So that's now everything done. The hopper just limits how much item can flow through here. So next up we're gonna place in here our green wool lines. And I know there is no um, no hoppers, droppers down there, but we need to place it here as well. Place here some redstone dust. Here's some redstone dust on the other side, but for the other, for the odd numbers basically of droppers. So like this, like that, and like that. So now we need some lime glass and we're just gonna block over like this and also connect everything up like that. So if we now fire here this, all of the redstone should be on and it should be very loud, <laughs> which of course it is here. And also very important, here this one should also be on. So all the redstone needs to be on of course. So next up we can already fill this system and we will just fill it by placing in here a hopper and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hoppers. And why 13? I will show you why. That's the exact amount of items I just selected here. So I will copy now each of the chests right here. So those two are remaining and all the other things I got right here. So I just start here, just place each of those chests down. Of course in creative it's much easier. As you can see here we have all the different blocks. Then I can just delete them again. And remember we have to place in those four chests as well. So that's the tedious part. Of course in survival you would have used shulker boxes instead. Not filled chests. <laughs> So, and now they're stuck here. So what we're gonna do now is we just uh, let the system run. Uh, we will build while the system is running, but as we can see here in the last chest, or can we see it in any of the chests? Yeah, but we can see it here. They should now go through there. And at some point we have also items arriving right here and now they can't, they've just filled the system up. So we know we have a loop since items are coming back right here and we're only filling this hopper, uh, this dropper. So we just leave it on. I hope the sound is not too annoying. So as the system is progressing, we will just go right here with a redstone torch. Then we have four tick repeater, two tick repeater. We will have here a sticky piston with a red bull block. And we want to end up right here in this wool block over there. We will have here another block and a torch. So it looks like this. So from here on, we will build an item elevator right here. Again, the height is predetermined by where we place in this dropper line. So it will look like this. You can also place in the composters already. Oh my God, there was many misplacements. So, and the item hopper line will lead right up, right to there. And then we're gonna have one, two. We will remove this block here temporarily. Uh, three and four droppers. The fourth one will be just uh, against this block right there. Two composters and we can already place in this line again to limit the throughput of this uh, hopper here. And we're gonna do that by just replacing that redstone dust with a full block like that. So next up we're gonna grab ourselves some uh, yellow wool just like this. Then some observers all facing into this direction. So 
Then we're gonna have a node block again, some more observers facing all downwards. And is the system already done? Nice it is, so we can also remove the observer here. And we can see now everything is filled. Here is nothing left, all the chests are empty. And I just proved it by destroying all of them. Nice, so everything is now in our system. And then we also can build now this system here, like completely the same. So we have here two tick, there we should have a sticky piston also, repeater and redstone dust. So, and next we're gonna build another elevator, which is right, that was not okay. Why is there a block of netherite in there? So we're gonna build here next up another dropper elevator. And this time we're gonna face everything back into the system. But for this tutorial, um, we want to check it once uh, afterwards. And since we already filled in everything, we want to mess it up. So we will remove this uh, dropper, here, uh, this uh, hopper here temporarily. So we all those items that should be getting transferred are now stuck in this hopper and we will add the hopper in later on so we don't mess things up. Next up we'll add a comparator right there. We will add some wool like this. We have a repeater set to four ticks at this position. Here's some redstone dust, there's some redstone dust and then we just place it like this. We can also get rid of this block here and place here a redstone torch. Then we block two blocks down like this and here we'll have a redstone dust we will work on later with. Next we're gonna place in here a hopper, there a hopper, here a barrel and the barrel should be pre-filled to look like this to make sure to have some renamed items. And then we're gonna add in more uh, of those hoppers and some composters on top. So next up we're gonna add in the purple circuit that powers all these hoppers here. So we have here one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Some more blocks, two pieces of redstone. We're gonna have here one repeater set to full delay. We can remove that block. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And here we just connect it with redstone. We have here repeater, full delay again. All over the place, repeaters on full delay. That looks like this. And then we're gonna have some purple wool that is located right here. And we're gonna need some hoppers and the hoppers will get sent this way here. And it will also be like this. So come on, let's get there like that. So get make sure to make sure to don't do that <laughs> until we finished. <laughs> so we have to replace them and get in the droppers like that. So make sure to don't put that hop drop hopper there. I'm very sorry for that. Make sure the configuration still looks like this. Now it is finally time to add the dropper that gives you all the items. So we have your temporary block, the dropper and another one. The left one is empty, the right one is filled with your price, which is netherite in my case. So we move that back. And we're gonna place here a wool. We need also an observer. So just uh, grab one observer that will face in this direction. And here it will read just the output of this repeater set to three ticks. Yeah, there are now some blocks on top. And then we're gonna have here some redstone dust. It looks like this. We'll have also right here a repeater set to two ticks. We'll have two pieces of redstone dust and we wanna have one comparator reading the output of that barrel. So as soon as we have here two items in there, so it doesn't matter which one, one, two. As soon as we add the second one, we will get two more blocks on top. So that should be the case. Um, next up, we want to make sure to have here kind of this shape. We also want to make sure to have here a nice uh, note block. And then we're gonna have here repeater set to two ticks a sticky piston in the floor, another repeater set to two ticks, a wool, then we're gonna need a redstone torch, like this, and then we wanna make sure to have here repeater on two ticks as well. And now it's finally time to add in that one hopper, but we're gonna do it like this, and now it should stay the same, like that. So. 
then we want to add in here a redstone dust we want to add in here a block we want to add in right here a sticky piston here two tick repeater here two tick repeater then we're gonna have a redstone line going in that direction and we want to make sure that we block all the additional connections like so and we also gonna add in right here uh, some space for another project afterwards. So from here on, we want to read the output of this hopper here with a comparator. Then we're gonna have here a block. Then we're gonna have here a piece of redstone and we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five repeaters, uh, sorry, four repeaters set to maximum delay. And then we're gonna connect those two lines. Then we wanna make sure to get here another hopper a dropper facing into the dropper that gives us back the item we put in there. And we also want to make sure to get some observers and also some blocks. Blocks right here. We're going to have the observers facing in that direction and also one facing down. Like so. Here we're going to have a three tick repeater. Here we're going to have a, come on, a comparator. And here we're just gonna grab a redstone dust like this. So if you place in here a chest, for example, we should get it here on the top. That's what this item elevator does. And we're also gonna feed it with a hopper now. It's a little bit tricky to get there now. Um, we're gonna feed it from here. So it's one, two, three, four of those uh, hoppers and we should end up right here. Next up, um, we want to power this block here. And we're gonna do it from this purple line with two repeaters set to full delay. Then we're gonna have here two pieces of redstone. We're gonna have a comparator pulse extender like this. We're gonna have two pieces like that. A piece of redstone torch, repeater set to full delay, and that's how we power that block there. And we can also now, where are the composters? Place here some composters down like this. And also here, like that so every hopper is covered with a composter so nobody can interact with it and server lag is reduced next up we want to get here a magenta line going and we just get it in right like this and we want to have three repeaters set to full delay and then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so it should uh, cover that length easily. And and just one minor adjustment here for this repeater, it, it's completely enough if it's one tick. So the last uh, circuit we want to add is the green one. So we will have here a redstone dust, here repeater set to one tick, here another redstone dust, repeater set to four ticks. We can, all, we can also replace that right like this. Uh, then we have to remove some blocks right here. We can remove a bunch of them, doesn't really matter until we hit here the note block, like this. And from here on, we can just start a redstone comparator clock that looks, a uh, pass extender that looks like this. Then we're gonna have here a redstone torch. We're gonna have right here a redstone dust that travels down right here, right there we're gonna have a repeater set to full delay again another green wool and we can also fill everything up here then we're gonna need a chest and a drop a hopper like this and we need to make one minor adjustment right here with this green wool uh, make sure to place this torch right there remove all the blocks here except that one and then we're gonna have uh, here redstone dust. We're gonna have one, two, three redstone dust target block. One, two, one, two. Here we have also redstone dust target block. If you don't have target blocks in your version, you have to just dig in a little bit more space, maybe also in this direction here, to uh, get here just seven repeaters on full delay until you hit that green block. The only necessity or the only um, thing you need to make sure of is from this redstone dust to this block, it's seven repeaters on full delay, then it's fine. Then we can already add in here the composters. I didn't add them in since then the spaces here are even more tight and yeah, 
you can't build that well. And one last important thing, since we already on purpose left it out, we have now, since we tested a lot of items in this hopper, we need to get them back into this dropper. So just re-filter them or redistribute them into the system here. And with that built, uh, we are pretty much done. So we insert one diamond right here. We insert, for example, a smooth quartz block. And let's see what the system gets us. So now we got here a wood and here the quartz block. So we nothing, but at least we get our block back in a second. Yeah, now it worked. And the last test we want to perform is uh, the spam test. So we just place in here one diamond and we place in, for example, four observers and only the first one should be counted. So the rest should be burned. Let's wait in the front uh, of our block. And as we can see, uh, one observer got through and the other one didn't. So we should get it back in a second. So, and with that said, uh, thank you for watching so much. And as always, uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video or this machine. And also make some suggestions if you have uh, some ideas by yourself. And if you made any mistake during the building of this machine, make sure to get the world download link in the video description. There you can try it out, play around with this world, and also maybe implement some other redstone designs you would like into this machine. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.